Hello. Tara. Yes. Hey, it's Rick and Carly at Wow Country 104.3. Hi. How are, are you? you? Good, how are you? Fantastic. Best day <laughs> of our lives. Good <laughs> <Thank> deal. <laughs> Just right, getting I'm up getting and at him. For work. <sighs> what would you say? <laughs> I said I'm getting ready for work. Uh, We won't take much of your time. We just wanted to talk to you real quick about Maddie. Okay. If that's all right. Yeah. So Tara wrote in for Rick and Cardi's kid Mm -hmm. on behalf of her 13-year-old daughter, Maddie. And we figured most of the time we read what you write in, but we figured you could probably tell the story best. So what's going on with Maddie? You go ahead because I'll cry. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Now she's, I mean, you've all had a lot of loss in your lives. Yes. Um, my mother-in-law, my brother, um, two uncles, a cousin, and just recently my grandmother passed away. So seven family members during Maddie's life, and, and she's only 13. Yeah. Uh, Maddie is, uh, well, she's one of those kids that... It's pretty standard. She feels a little bit different than most other kids. Um, she has a love and a passion to race race cars, right? Like dirt cars. Yes. Yeah. And um, somehow you ended up losing the dirt car, though, right? We did financially. Right. Okay. Just had to give that up. I guess the biggest concern is uh, she started cutting herself last year. And yes. now, why is that? What have you been able to get to the root of that problem or figure out what's going on? Um, so, someone with the um, the mental side, the the relief of the depression or the sadness or the anger comes from themselves. It relieves the anger. Um, so it's a relief for her. It takes away the thing and focuses her on something else. I just can't imagine as a mom discovering that your beautiful little child was harming them like that and, and that they're in so much pain that that's how they're finding relief. It's very, um, I, my biggest thing was the the suicide part of it, but she doesn't want to die. And she'll tell you that. I don't want to die because she has seen <clears throat> the hurt that's gone on through the family with the other deaths. Mm-hmm. Um, she just, it takes away that pain. It just gives her that relief for a certain amount of time. You guys live in Nampa, right? No, I work in Nampa. We live in Boise. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay. We live in Boise. Um, she's going to be, Maddie's going to be our Rick and Carly's kid for March. So we'd like to take care of you with uh, a few different things, if you're okay with that. Yeah. So we've got you four season passes to Meridian Speedway for the 2017 season, plus a tour of the pit and the track for Maddie and an opportunity for her to ride in a pace car. Um, we're also hooking you up with some counseling sessions through Balance Solutions Counseling it's an amazing place. Um, there's two different counselors, so she could kind of find the right fit for her. Um, but working with either Brittany Case Fang or Andrea Peasley, they're both trained to work specifically with issues like cutting, and they love just working with teens, working with families. Um, you also recently found a son that you gave up for adoption over 20 years ago, right? Yes, I actually get to go and spend a 24th birthday with him oh, on, cool. on Saturday. Cool. That's awesome. Well, we wanted to get your whole family together and just give you some fun things that you can do um, this summer and this spring. So we've got eight tickets to our Wow Spring Fling for your entire family, including your son that you just found and reconnected with and his family. Eight tickets to the Boise Music Festival this summer and breakfast or lunch from Steve's Cafe in Meridian. me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> just we just just, just I, take care of that little girl of yep. yours, okay? And know that uh, we can't wait to meet Maddie, and just uh, just know that somebody cares. I appreciate it very much. I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it. Step, I'm saying.